restrain them, financial documents revealed that Harry and Meghan withdrew $4.8 million from a charitable fund, reportedly in a counterfeit report. According to a report from March of this year, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle appeared to work just one hour per week at their Archwell Foundation. However, they managed to siphon off $4.8 million from the charity fund. A glance at certain sections of the REL Foundation website implies that the couple has been too occupied to keep it updated. Notably, the Archwell audio page on the Archwell Foundation website was last updated shortly after their deal with Spotify was signed. Even months after the deal concluded, the page continues to reference Meghan and Harry's Spotify deal. The report from March stated that the Sussexes also depleted over $3 million from grants they received after raising $17.8 million from two wealthy benefactors. Later, it was reported that the supporters had contributed $13 million. However, it remains unclear what became of this $13 million or how it was eventually spent. It is known that Oprah Winfrey is one of the two benefactors, and she has not probed into the funds that Meghan and Harry acquired because Archwell is also where Oprah might have channeled money. The public documents, acquired by DailyMail.com, indicated that Harry and Meghan only dedicated one hour per week to the foundation, amounting to 52 hours a year. Despite their apparent lack of activity, Harry was reportedly receiving a monthly sum of up to a million dollars from Betterup due to his royal connections, highlighting the significance of their royal titles. If Harry lacked a royal title, he might have been paid less than $800 per month, instead of potentially earning up to $1 million. Another significant revelation from Elite Connections is Harry's ambitious demand to receive government or taxpayer assistance to cover his high property taxes. If this request is granted, it could mean that the US and UK taxpayers would be responsible for paying his property taxes for his residence and other immovable assets. There were also reports of Harry's desire to establish a UK trust to avoid property tax payments. This strategic approach aligns with Meghan's alleged wish to travel via private jets and stay in the most luxurious hotel suites around the world for the rest of her life, along with her desire to acquire designer items. Even a fortune of $100 million might not suffice to sustain this lifestyle, leading them to explore various ways to make audacious demands to potentially save millions in taxes and bills. While everyday taxpayers struggle to make ends meet, royal experts speculate that Prince Harry's life is bound to get much more challenging once Prince William ascends to the throne. This is especially true if Meghan Markle remains married to him and hasn't achieved financial independence by then. It is suggested that her situation might become increasingly difficult in her later years, possibly to the extent that she might have to relocate to Mexico, much like her father, to make ends meet.